Yeah, um, this one's gonna be called Do the Wrong Thing. And uh, we're gonna go thrift shopping. <laughs> Okay, so I have a working thesis. Um, it's kind of interesting. It's about how we do the right thing just because we're supposed to. Uh, it's nothing new at all, like at all. Um, but I think it's interesting nonetheless. I, th I think it's, it's, it's very interesting how a lot of times we try to do the right thing or we have this ego and we're just like, oh yeah, like no, we're, we're doing the right thing. And we kind of jump to that conclusion and don't even realize all the harm that we're causing because we're not even self-aware enough to kind of look back and realize, oh shit, we're, we're not actually doing the right thing. That's come from a lot of personal reflections. So I don't know if it's for everybody. I'm saying you, but I'm really just talking about my experience and what I've kind of been able to observe. Ultimately, the point I'm trying to make is that doing the quote unquote right thing for the wrong reasons like Chidi said, <laughs> isn't actually doing the right thing at all. In fact, I argue that you should be able to self-actualize and really do what you want to do and kind of follow your own moral compass while, yes, being informed with the limitations of society and all of that, but still being able to, you know, do your own thing. What do you think is important? What is your own sense of morality? kind of constructing this broader sense of the self rather than just blindly following this weird binary system of what's good and what's bad. So if it's nothing new, then why am I repeating myself, right? People have talked about this in countless videos. You've seen it constantly being played out with this binary of good versus evil. You see the sympathetic villain, think Killmonger, Thanos to an extent. Um, uh, Vulture. I don't know why I'm just thinking about Marvel movies. I'm a nerd, so that's kind of my drift. Anyway, if it's nothing new, then why am I talking about redefining our sense of morality and, and self-determination and, and good and bad and objective good and bad? Why bring it up in the first place? Well, I'm glad you asked. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that, you know, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here, but if I could bring in a little bit, oh, a little bit more of my own perspective into this kind of thing, a classic conversation with a little bit of a twist. I'm hoping that this can provide just a just a small, small, small amount of context uh, in this everlasting debate. So why is morality important? Why is it important to have these questions? Why is it important to break apart? what we learn from society and, and all these different things. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure that part out myself. I, I think it's just important to self-reflect, yeah. I don't know. Think for yourself a little bit. This is all in my own journey to self-actualize and learn who I want to be, because uh, I'm 21 years old, I'm a kid transitioning into adulthood. So a lot of these questions are tinkering and pondering and, and, and doing stuff in my brain. Uh, so I have a lot of stuff that I'm still thinking about. One of these things, if you wanna hear a little bit more about what I have to say about morality uh, and even mental health and stress like that, I also do this podcast. Ah! It is the Close on Sunday podcast with United Catholic Youth Ministries, uh, UCYM for short. In this podcast episode, we, we talked a little bit about um, kind of why we have these stressors in life and a lot of the things that I said and a lot of the arguments I made was that we develop a weird relationship with stress based on this punishment system that we learn through religion, through culture, through society, and this idea of punishment and the negative affiliations with, with messing up, doing the wrong thing, can put a lot of pressure on the individual and reshape and restructure their brain to where they think that, oh, if I do the wrong thing, I'm gonna get punished for it. I shouldn't do that. And then our sense of morality kind of gets skewed because once we grow up and we realize there's no punishing force for these little things that we're doing, right? Think school, think getting an F on an assignment, think about growing into college or growing into the workplace. 
it's a lot more consequence oriented when you talk about, oh, if I don't do this, X, Y, Z is going to happen and I need to take self accountability for my actions so I can determine the consequences for those actions. Instead, what a lot of kids, me included, grew up experiencing was this very binary notion of good and bad. And so the punishment element of that weird binary where there's no gray area, there's no room for failure. There's only you succeed or you don't. And so I think within that binary structure, and I talked about it a lot, it can cause a lot of mental health things, bad associations with stress. And I think kind of that punishment oriented perspective uh, is very harmful. And so if you want to hear more about that, listen to that podcast. I talk about how that plays a role in systemic racism and all that shit. I'm not also the only person on that podcast. That's just my two thoughts. Lovely Vanessa and Jeff and Oliver and Ronabel and all these wonderful people from UCYM contribute to that podcast. So if you want to listen to it, check it out. That's kind of my own little plug. Um, But yeah, so that's kind of a little bit of my tangent. Uh, It's not fully thought of or flushed out i wanted to do a little bit more of a vlog style video for today so i'm going to couple this weird existential philosophical thought thing with me going out and 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 buying thrift thrifted clothes yeah because i'm i'm 20 years old and i need to fit the aesthetic okay